A tragic story from Arizona basketball. Former Wildcat Michael Wright was found dead in his car on Tuesday in Brooklyn, New York. The autopsy report has not been released, but police are treating it as a homicide. Wright had a skull fracture with trash bags over his head. Meanwhile, detectives are investigating the possibility he was killed by somebody that he met on a gay dating app. Wright was part of the 2001 Wildcat team that lost to Duke in the NCAA championship game. He averaged 15 points and eight rebounds while with the Cats, leading the team in boards for three years. The Knicks drafted him, but Wright didn't stick on the roster. Instead, he had a long career overseas and played in France just this past season. Michael Wright was 35 years old. Ashley Brewer has more. Today, a dark cloud covered the Arizona basketball program and those near it. You know, it's devastating. 35-year-old former Wildcat Michael Wright was found dead in his car last night in New York City. Despite never having met him, Sean Miller feels the pain surrounding this tragedy. Uh, when something like that happens at such a young age and uh, you don't have all the answers, uh, you just, uh, you know, you feel... Horrible. But on the same day, the program was lifted with the signing of seven foot tall finish forward Lowry Markannon, who verbally committed just a month ago. You know, we're ecstatic to get Lowry. Sean Miller has been recruiting Lowry Markannon for over a year and a half, and he said he's really got everything you look for in a recruit. He's been well coached. His father played at Kansas for a short period of time, and he's a better shooter than most big men. He's a prolific three point shooter from the FIBA line and he puts the ball on the floor. He's very agile, but he can really shoot the ball. He shoots so well that he led the U18 European Championships with 18 points per game. Ashley Brewer, KGAN 9, on your side.